Arian of Nicomedia, Greek, Arianos Arianos, Latin, Lucius Flavius Arianus, c. 86-89 c. after 146-160 AD was a Greek historian, public servant, military commander and philosopher of the Roman period. The Anabasis of Alexander by Arian is considered the best source on the campaigns of Alexander the Great. However, more recently, even though modern scholars have generally preferred Arian to other extant primary sources, this attitude towards Arian is beginning to change in the light of studies into Arian's method. Topic Arian's life Arian was born in Nicomedia, present-day Izmit, the provincial capital of Bithynia. Dio called him Flavius Arianus Nicomediensis. In respect of his birth date, sources provide similar dates for his birth, within a few years prior to 90, 89, and 85 to 90 AD. The line of reasoning for dates belonging to 85–90 AD is from the fact of Arian being made a consul around 130 AD, and the usual age for this, during this period, being 42 years of age, ref. p. 312, and Syme 1958, same page. His family was from the Greek provincial aristocracy, and his full name, L. Flavius Arianus, indicates that he was a Roman citizen, suggesting that the citizenship went back several generations, probably to the time of the Roman conquest some 170 years before, sometime during the 2nd century AD, 117 to 120 AD while in Epirus, probably Nicopolis. Arian attended lectures of Epictetus of Nicopolis, and proceeded within a time to fall into his pupillage, a fact attested to by Lucian. All that is known about the life of Epictetus is due to Arian, in that Arian left an Encheridian handbook of Epictetus' philosophy. After Epirus he went to Athens, and while there he became known as the young Xenophon as a consequence of the similarity of his relation to Epictetus as Xenophon had to Socrates, for a period, some time about 126 AD, he was a friend of the emperor Hadrian, who appointed him to the Senate. He was appointed to the position consul Suffectus around 130 AD, and then, in 132 AD although Hawatson shows 131, he was made prefect or legate governor of Cappadocia by Hadrian, a service he continued for six years. When he retired, Arian went to live in Athens, where he became archon sometime during 145 or 146 E.J. Chinnick shows, he retired to Nicomedia and was appointed priest to Demeter and Persephone while there. He died in the reign of Marcus Aurelius. Arian referred to himself as the second Xenophon, on account of his reputation and the esteem in which he was held. Lucian stated him to be, a Roman of the first rank with a lifelong attachment to learning Tau. His quality is identified as Paideia, Paideia which is the quality considered to be of one who is known as an educated and learned personage, i.e., one who is highly esteemed and important. Topic works There are eight extant works, cf. Sivane, footnote of p. 260. The Indica and the Anabasis are the only works completely intact. His entire remaining oeuvre is known as FGRH 156 to designate those collected fragments which exist. Topic Peri plus of the Euxine C. This work is the earliest extant work that is dated with any confidence. It is a writing addressed to the Emperor Hadrian. Topic Discourses of Epictetus and Enchiridion of Epictetus Arian was a pupil of Epictetus around 108 AD, and, according to his own account, he was moved to publish his notes of Epictetus lectures, which are known as Discourses of Epictetus, by their unauthorized dissemination. According to George Long, Arian noted from Epictetus lectures for his private use and some time later made of these, the Discourses. Photius states that Arian produced two books the Dissertations and the Discourses. The discourses are also known as diatribi and are apparently a verbatim recording of Epictetus' lectures. The Enchiridion is a short compendium of all Epictetus' philosophical principles. It is also known as a handbook, and Amel considers the Enchiridion to have been a vade mecum for Arian. The Enchiridion is apparently a summary of the discourses. J. B. Stockdale considered that Arian wrote eight books, of which four were lost by the Middle Ages, and the remaining ones became the discourses. In a comparison of the contents of the Enchiridion with the Discourses, it is apparent that the former contains material not present within the latter, suggesting an original lost source for the Enchiridion. Homiliae Epictetu Friendly Conversations with Epictetus is a twelve-book work mentioned by Photius in his Bibliotheca, of which only fragments remain. Topic. Anabasis of Alexander The Anabasis of Alexander comprises seven books. 
Arian used Xenophon's account of the March of Cyrus as the basis for this work. Topic: Ta met Alexandrin. History of the Diadochi or Events After Alexander is a work originally of ten books. A commentary on this work was written by Photius F. W. Wallbank, p. 8. Three extant fragments are the Vatican Palimpsest of the 10th century AD, Psi 12.1284, Oxyrhynchus, and the Gothenburg Palimpsest of the 10th century also, these possibly stemming originally from Photius. The writing is about the successors of Alexander the Great, circa 323 to 321 or 319. Topic. Parthica A lost work of seventeen books, fragments of Parthica were maintained by the Suda and Stephen of Byzantium. The work survives only in adaptations made later by Photius and Syncellus. Translated, the title is History of the Parthians. Arian's aim in the work was to set forth events of the Parthian War of Trajan. The writing mentioned that the Parthians trace their origins to Artaxerxes II. Topic. Bithyniaca A work of eight books, Bibliotheca via Phocius, states it as the fourth to have been written by Arian. Topic. Nicomediensis Scripta Menorah A work translated a Nicodemian script minor. Topic. Indica Indica is a work on a variety of things pertaining to India, and the voyage of Nearchus in the Persian Gulf. The first part of Indica was based largely on the work of the same name of Megasthenes, the second part based on a journal written by Nearchus. Techni Toktik Written 136–137 AD in the 20th year of Hadrian, Techni Toktik is a treatise on Roman cavalry and military tactics, and includes information on the nature, arms and discipline of the phalanx. The Hippica Gymnasia is a particular concern of Arian in the treatise. Another translation of the title is Ars Tactica, which, in Greek, is Techni Toktik. This work has generally been considered in large part a panegyric to Hadrian, written for the occasion of his Vicennalia, although some scholars have argued that its second half may have had practical use. Kynegeticos <laughs> Synegeticus, Kynegeticos translated as The Hunting Man, is a work about hunting dogs, Cain's Venaticae, the Celtic Greyhound. The work is based on an earlier exposition made by Xenophon, whom Arian thought to be the authority on the subject of hunting. Ectaxis Cata Alanon Ectaxis Cata Alanon Ectaxis Cata Alanon is a work of a now fragmentary nature. The title is translated as Deployment Against the Alani or the Order of Battle Against the Alans or referred to simply as Alanica. It is thought not have been written as a presentation of facts but for literary reasons. Pertaining to the relevant historical facts, though, while governor of Cappadocia, Arian repelled an invasion of the Alani sometime during 135 AD, a struggle in which Arian's two legions were victorious. Within the work, Arian explicitly identified the particular means of pursuing warfare as being based on Greek methods. Ectaxis Cata Alanon is also translated as Aces contra Alanos. The work was known for a time as a history of the Alani. Alanike via Phocius. A fragment describing a plan of battle against the Alani was found in Milan around the 17th century which was thought at that time to belong to the history. Topic biographical series There were also a number of monographs or biographies, including of Dion of Syracuse, Timoleon of Corinth, and Tilliborus, a brigand or robber of Asia Minor, which are now lost. Topic sources, transmission, translations and publications Everything known of his life derives from the 9th century writing of Photius in his Bibliotheca, and from those few references which exist within Arian's own writings. The knowledge of his consulship, is derived at the least from literature produced by Suetus. Arnobius c. 3rd century AD mentions Arian. Arian was also known of by Aulus Gellius. Pliny the Younger addressed seven of his epistles to him. 
Simplicius made a copy of the Enchiridion, which was transmitted under the name of the monastic father Nihilus during the 5th century, and as a result found in every monastery library. Nicholas Blancard made translations of Arian in 1663 and 1668. The voyage of Nearchus and Periplus of the Erythrene Sea were translated from the Greek by the then Dean of Westminster, William Vincent, and published 1809. Vincent published a commentary in 1797 on the voyage of Nearchus. The work was also translated into French by M. Billicoque, under the auspices of the government cf. p. 321. Topic references Topic Further reading Arian, The Campaigns of Alexander, translated by Aubrey de Silencourt, Penguin Classics, 1958 and numerous subsequent editions. Phillips, A. A., and M. M. Wilcock eds, Xenophon and Arian on Hunting with Hounds. Sinegeticus. Oxford, Aris and Phillips, 1999. ISBN 0-85668-706-5. P. A. Stater, Arian of Nicomedia, Chapel Hill, 1980. R. Syme, The Career of Arian, Harvard Studies in Classical Philology Vol. 86 1982, pp. 171–211, E. L. Wheeler, Flavius Arianus, A Political and Military Biography, Duke University, 1977, N. N. Cartledge, Paul, Rahm, James S., Strassler, Robert B., Pamela Mensch 2010. The Landmark Arian, The Campaigns of Alexander. New York, Pantheon. ISBN 0-375-42346-X. Yardley, J. and Heckel, W. 2004 the History of Alexander, Penguin, London, pp.5 and 269. Broderson, K. 2017 Arianos, Asclepiodotos, Die Kunst der Taktik. Greek and German, De Gruder, Berlin ISBN 978-3-11-056216-3. Topic external links Livius, Arian of Nicomedia by Jonah Lendering Arian on Coursing, the Sinegeticus William Dancy 1831 Arianus's Voyage Round the Euxine Sea, translated and accompanied with a geographical dissertation and maps texts online collected works, Flavi Ariani Quae Extant Omnia, A. G. Ruse, ed. 2 vols, Lipsiae, in Aetibus B. G. Teubnery, 1967-68. Arian, Anabasis Alexandri, Teubner Monolingual Greek Edition, edited by A.G. Ruse 1907, Arian, Anabasis Alexandri, translated by E.J. Chinnock 1893, Arian, Anabasis Alexandri, section 1.13-16 pdf, pp. 18-19, Battle of Granicus, from the Loeb Classical Library Edition. Arian, Anabasis Alexandri, section 4.18.4-19.6, Sogdian Rock, translated by Aubrey de Silencourt Arian, Anabasis Alexandri, section 7.5. 1-16, translated by John Yardley Arian, Sinegeticus, translated and edited by William Dancy 1831. Arian, Events After Alexander from Photius's Bibliotheca, translated by John Rook, edited by Tim Spaulding Arian, the Indica translated by E. Elif Robson. Arian, Array Against the Alans Ectaxis Keta Alanon translated by Sander van Dorst, with the Greek transliterated and copious notes. Photius's excerpt of Arian's Anabasis, translated by J. S. Fries Photius's excerpt of Arian's Bithynica, translated by J. S. Fries Photius's excerpt of Arian's Parthica, translated by J. S. Fries Photius's excerpt of Arian's events after Alexander, translated by J.S. Fries.